In the inshore part of the uh, of the Atlanta Cup, I feel pretty good. I think we got a, a reasonably good chance. We have a really strong team, and um, I sail here all the time, so I feel like from a, a local knowledge and tactical standpoint, we have a, a leg up on on the other boats. Um, also, we our boat seems pretty quick, so I think from a boat speed standpoint, we'll be able to match everybody. Um, we're going to go out today and practice for a bit, and hopefully that time we put in today will pay dividends this weekend. Plus, I really want to win. So The biggest, you know, inshore racing, the race course is so much shorter that you need to minimize the amount of mistakes early in the race because you can find yourself behind pretty quickly. So you need to have a good start and you need to hit the first wind shift correctly. Once you get ahead, it's a lot easier to defend being in first than it is to pass somebody. Uh, be just because of the, the length of the course. You know, if you're selling a five mile course, it's hard to find a passing lane. A 500 mile course, they're all over the place. Or, as evidenced in the Atlantic Cup offshore part, on a 200 mile course, there's some passing lanes. Um, so that the key really is the first third of the race, getting out in front and maintaining that position. For the inshore part, we've got a, a close group, group of friends, myself, Ryan, uh, Phil, Terry, Sean, and Jeremy. Uh, we've sailed together a bunch. Um, we're gonna, like I said, go out today and do a little practice to kind of refine ourselves in the boat. But uh, it's a really good group of guys that we've sailed with a bunch and a variety of different boats. So I think that gives us a leg up also. We've got a familiarity with each other that, you know, in sailboat racing kind of pays dividends at the end. You know, it's it's nice to have another, uh, another few brains on boards to bounce some ideas off of. Um, the racing is usually closer because the race course is so much smaller, so it's exciting in that regard. You know, you don't have long stretches of, of what seems like inaction. You know, you're basically constantly adjusting everything and making decisions, so it should be pretty neat to watch. I think the boats will match up pretty well, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I think, I think uh, you know, I trust, I trust Rob and I trust his guys. I, you know, I, I've only just met a few of them recently, and, uh, you know, um, yeah, I, th I think they, they know this area. This is their, I'm just, I'm just going to be a, the mechanics guy, you know what I mean? The sails go up and down and that kind of thing. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all my faith in, in, in what, they, what they decide to do and just try to help, you know, help carry the team forward, you know? Well, the, cl the Class 40 for inshore racing, I mean, you know, I think you could do it. You, what, what you would want to avoid is getting boats, having boats set up specifically for inshore racing. Because right now they're, they really are set up for single and double-handed. And if you, if you started setting them up for crewed racing, it would make the double-handed or single-handed thing just that much harder to do efficiently, you know? So, but I think it'd be fun to try to do some windward fluids on the class four, you know? There's not a lot of, yeah, yeah, there's not a lot of area. Maybe, you know, we might just send somebody down below to deal with the water ballast system and have somebody else go in front of the mass kind of thing. Um, I, I, you will figure it out. You know, our cockpit's wide. It's not long, but it's wide. We can we can squeeze people in there. Just you want to be punching people in the eyes with your elbows and kind of thing. Yeah. It's, I think uh, for me, I really enjoy it because I, I do so much offshore stuff. I think it's a lot of fun being able to see your competitors and like see what works and be like, Did that work, that didn't. It's all happening so quickly, and you know, I think that's that's my favorite part about it. Is you get to play the game several times a day instead of playing the game for you know ten days in one game. You know, it's it's like an experiment for me. I like it.